Hey, it's Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Thursday. It's October 4th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and this is going to wrap it up for the week. No chart lessons on Fridays. Uh, I'm taking those days off, taking a longer uh, three-day weekend on these on the chart lesson. So, uh, great trading day today. All downhill, all downhill steeply. Just so many trades in here to choose from. If you couldn't find a trade today, then you were probably forcing things or trying to pick bottoms or whatever. So notice that once we got going here, you don't see any buys until we had a sure reversal here. And you know, when you get a trend down like this, don't look to buy, just, just sell. You might have to be a little patient when you get a correction like this and you might get some strong corrections and you might be thinking, yeah, I'd like to get some of that, but it's a whole lot easier to wait, go with the trend. You could, you know, any of these corrections back to the main trend line, and let me show you, there's two, you can't hardly really see the brown one now because I made the blue one thicker to make it easier. I, I hate for them to, let me just make this a little darker where you can see it. But early on, we were playing this brown channel. And notice there's a break in new low, and then we had a correction, and then we started down again. And But there's a darker blue channel. And that really held prices the rest of the day. Uh, it, it's not quite as steep as the brown one. And, but you can see where prices came into play. If you just made a couple of these, hit, waited on these pullbacks to this trend line, you draw it from this high right off that, fur, that, that swing right there. And, uh, and then you would have had one, two, three, four chances, sure things almost, right off that trend line that just took off. And that's what you want to try to do. You want to, just like we talked about yesterday, where did all the moves come from off the key entry points? There's a couple, there's one right here off that channel. There's a couple here off the channel. Uh, and there's shorter term trend lines are all off of those. These shorter term ones are just key entry points, just like the longer term ones. They're just on a different level. And that's why price action works at every level because there's trends within the trends. There's ranges within the trends. There's trends within the ranges, etc. You can see a little trend going up right there within this little range. So that's why, that's the beauty of price action. Well, let me back out. We'll talk about the trades. I'm going to go through these quickly because there's a whole bunch of them. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them. I'm going to go through them rather quickly. And um, we'll wrap today up. But when I came in, 7 o'clock hour was right in this little congestion here. And I believe this is the trade another trader asked me about. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is it, and uh, I'll explain that in a minute. But notice you got a little double bottom. You got a failed break lower and a nice bullish bar. Uh, notice that trend working up. That's a pretty strong trend. We don't really have a convincing close outside until right here when we start backing up. And there's really just two legs down, and there's a little short trap there. And then, and then it rushed to a new high. And there's a couple legs up to a new high before it turned down again. So that was a nice place to buy right there. And there's this is a little bit congested. Look, there's one, two, three, four. And these are this is an inside bar. Uh, and this is what I want to explain. What this trader did, he looked at the pullback first entry, pullback second entry. He didn't go long because look at that how bearish that signal bar is. He was he was smart. He didn't go long. But when it broke higher and turned down. And then gave you this little inside bar. He thought this was a long trap and he went short here. And this is not a long trap. This is a short trap. And and first of all, obviously you don't want to go long there. So um, that's not going to fool a lot of people. Going long right there, a failed long right there is not going to fool anybody. And then you just had like a little inside bar. So by the time that bar formed, you got one, two, three bars stacking up there. Um, notice that there's a, a two bar matching low. There's also a double bottom. So you're not only going short, you're going short right into a double, uh, strong support double bottom there. Also right into the EMA. But more than anything, look, you got one leg down, pull back two legs down. There's two legs down right there. So you've got your two legs, and you know that's generally what what you're going to get. You got your close outside, two legs down, and then we went for the retest. 
and you can see that's all that's a perfect measured move basically right there you can see that there's your first leg and there's your second leg that's a perfect two legs down and then it bounced just what you would expect so um, yeah if you tried to go short a couple things to notice here one that's an inside bar which is not necessarily a bad thing but when you got three bars stacking up one's an inside bar and you're going short into a double bottom that's not a good idea um, and, and this is and, and the idea behind a trap is it's going to fool a lot of people so in other words it's going to fool people in entering the wrong direction and that's what makes it right look how this thing rocketed off you may not have got in there because it gapped over it gapped right there so strong and takes off whether or not would have come back and filled your limit order it's hard to say maybe maybe not Depends on where you put it. So you didn't get a lot of opportunity to really get in this trade. So you may not have got in it anyway. But the right trade is to the long side. So this is not a good short by any means. And it wasn't a good long either. This is one of these where you just kind of sit and see if you get a trap. And if you're sitting there and then you see this break down and turn up when you're looking for a retest anyway. Um, That makes it, you know, if you're not already in a bad trade, you can get in the good trade. So what I told this trader is one of the things you need to do is just be patient. Don't, you know, this is not a good setup, long or short. You're better off just sit tight, and then you see the little failed break lower below the double bottom, and you got a trap, and you can go long, and then you got an easy trade. But also, the main, another thing I wanted to show him was you've already had two legs down, and you're down, way down here. You're going short. But the lows idea is to get short way up here. You get you sell high and you buy low, and you already got your two legs down, so you're selling at the bottom of the move. So the better entry was either here or here, and you got a lower high here. So I, I'd rather see you enter below this bar uh, than to try to be getting short down here. So notice once you let the move play out, then it was easy, and you got an easy move way up here away from the EMA. Where you know it's going to come back and there's just so many things wrong with this trade right here um hopefully not many of you got trapped there hopefully mo most of you saw the short trap and that's what happens sometimes we think too much you know we're thinking oh we got a trap here and because it went long and but how many people are going to get fooled going long above that bar right there not many not any not many good traders really really weak traders but good traders you know the idea is to fool all the good traders to the you know to the short side and try to get long and you're not even going to feel many good traders right here so i mean this thing was wanting to go up anyway they just want they just made a couple of extra traps there to um, choke some people out and then run it up and then notice we got two legs up and we got a long way to go and i don't spend eight minutes on that one trade but that, i wanted to talk about that because somebody had asked about it anyway so now we've got the break, a clear break, two leg correction. We moved up and we turned down. You draw that trend line right there. We come back and make a little double top and a bearish bar. Look how far away we are from the EMA. Go short right there. That's a, probably a sure thing. Notice how it gapped over the EMA again there. And then it bounces. And you get a little uh, first entry short there but I don't like that one you got a doji right next to it and you're just kind of going sideways here you do come back to the trend line again uh, you might consider that one is fairly bearish it's a little double top um, right there at that where we've had some support and resistance but there's a lot of congestion there so I, did, I didn't mark it I just skip it and so then we move down and notice how we're bouncing across the lows here and you get that little drop down again and a nice little bullish bar and again there's two legs down it looks a little similar to this it's not a re I wouldn't really call that a repeat pattern but it's got some very uh, close similarities to it it looks like a failed second entry long again there in the whole nine yards just go long right there and then you get two legs up and notice how you test that again you really got right here you've really got a double test of this so there's your high you tested it once you tested it twice but it, uh, so you might go short right there. I didn't mark it. It's really the first touch where we draw where we drew the blue trend line. I'm gonna make that one green. 
and then it jogs back real quick and tests it again and so you're you know this is a little trading range going across here and you got plenty of room to get out so i like that one for sure and that's a quick easy move and if you catch it you can just keep riding it uh, notice that's a double top so there's a first entry and then you move down that says a failed second entry long right off that trend line that confirms the trend line i like going short there and now you're looking for i want to show you this here was your first leg and so from here you're looking for a measured leg down and so that puts your target right here and look how close we, we might have missed that by a tick so that was your first target and then uh, once we started going lower again here I'd look for another measured move and look at there almost to the tick and then finally I would measure that again and look for another measured move and this one we don't quite make it you can see there and we come up short and that's usually a good sign that we you know you may go in the other direction and there's a leg and a correction and there's measured leg right there as well so the measured legs really came in handy today you can see there was your next measured leg let me get all these lines out of here we've already got so much on this chart today this is a busy chart But anyway, you're off to the races here. You're, you're working down this trend line. You finally get a break here, and that's basically two legs back, and so that's like a second entry, another bearish bar. So the first break of this trend line, it actually went higher and turns and goes out the other side. So you could put a sell stop one tick below that bar to make this bigger. Or you could just put it below that. When you're, when you, if you wait till here, you're getting a little bit close to these lows, but you're looking for a new, you know, with this strong trend down, we're probably going to get our measured move and we're probably going to make a new low. So I'd be looking at these bars here and you actually jog back again here and you can see it working around that midline and that one's tempting, but, um, you know, we've got to close and we're making new lows now. So I'm just going to sit tight. And of course you make a new low, you pull out first entry second entry right off the midline right off the EMA big bearish bar I like going short there just make sure you got room to get out comes back again notice first entry second entry makes a lower eye again off the midline in the EMA go short right there comes back again first entry you get a little failed breakout second entry I like going short right there because now you're going sideways you got a second entry short a little failed breakout there's a lower eye here that you could have considered, but uh, you made a lower eye here, and now another, or I'm sorry, a higher low here, and another higher low. I was a little concerned about that one. It looks like it would have worked, but needless to say. But then we move up, and now guess what? Leg one, little two legged correction right in the middle there. Leg two, perfect measured move. Right off the trend line, a bearish bar. And in a bigger picture, that's a second entry because there's two legs, one leg, two legs, with the two-legged correction in the middle. That's probably the center of your pattern. Now we're looking for that next big leg down. And off it goes. You got a lower high right here. Again, right off that key entry point. You got a failed second entry long there, but that's another little two legs back. So a second entry, again, off that key entry point. And also draw this one and you can see that's a third touch of that one and it comes back here gives you a little this is a little bit congested looking in the end when it bounces here and it gives you a little breakout pullback short uh, but again it's off that key entry point and you get two legs back again to the key entry point the EMA take that short here's another one not a very good signal bar though moving on down pulls back to the key entry point the EMA look at that big bearish bar go short right there it gives you a lower high here finally get a close outside in the lower eye so you could consider even going right there I didn't mark that one it's just so many trades in here that you you know you probably wait for the better ones you should have already been in but you could enter there too that's basically a second entry short starting from the low first entry second entry and off it goes again 
we've moved a little bit too far down. We're on the lower end of what looks like this two-tier channel here. It kind of go. That's just kind of going sideways. It does push on down and bounce off this low one. And everybody knows to buy now. We're probably we're coming off the low side, so now we're probably going to move back to the upper side and look at it go. There's a real tight channel right there. You can see that. And then we get an overshoot, and we turn down right off the key entry point on a big downtrend. You can go short there. There's a lower eye here, but I would wait. You get your failed second entry short right here. Confirms that trend line off the EMA. Go short right there. This has been a huge downtrend, so look for reasons to go short. Lower eye here, but that's too congestive. We move down. Comes back. I don't like that signal bar. It's a first entry. You could look at that as maybe a double test, but that bar is just too neutral. And then just by being, you got to close outside. You make a new low. You bounce. Notice that low. First entry. Second entry. Nice bearish bar. Lower high. Pushes through the EMA. Like that one. Uh, failed second entry long. Like that one. And we're, we're kind of going sideways again here. Um, there's another second entry short right here. But I wasn't sure about it. Well, when it ticks higher again there and gives you that little small bar, I like it. Then you get a failed second entry long right here. Nice bearish bar. Take it. And this is, it, we're really kind of going sideways here, too. I don't have it on there. I need to put it on there. You know, once you look at this stuff every day, you don't even, you know, you don't have to draw your lines. You, at least I don't. I can see them. But I like to put them on there because it helps people that aren't as good to see it. And you can see that little range working across there. And how we were making lower highs. So that's telling you we're probably going to push on down. Um, I would be careful getting short right in here. Because we're very close to our measured move and then it bounces and before you buy again you know yeah there's a reversal pattern right there but I'm probably not gonna buy that actually the reversals here the failed second entry short I'm definitely not buying down here into that and I don't like that one either but when it comes back here and we're kind of going sideways and it bounces and gives you a nice book bullish bar I like going long now and now and, and the smart traders are thinking the same thing because now look at them there it goes okay I had a small um, interruption there but um, when we came back to that key entry point after getting a nice move here and notice that's pretty much one leg up right there This is probably going to be the center of your pattern. There's really a couple of legs back there. There's more jogs in there. So you're going to be looking for that measured leg. We didn't quite get there before it corrected. But by the time we went on up, we're right there. And we still pushed up a little more from that. So, uh, so now is when you might look for a long. I don't see any more. This is a double bottom. And there's a little failed second entry short right there. But that's, you know, we're away from the EMA. We're just kind of going sideways right at 2 o'clock. I'm not going to risk it. There's so many trades here today and, you know, so many good ones. If you just, just be patient, all you need is two or three of these to make a nice day and to probably get some runners. I mean, there were several runners here today too. I didn't even talk about runners. So, um, I mean, this is just too easy. You know, don't force trades like this trade over here that, of course, you know, you don't know that this is coming yet, but regardless, you don't want to force trades like that right there. You've already had this spike and channel play out you got your close outside a couple legs down to a found some support now you got a really strong trend coming up you get a close outside move to a new high and then off it goes so be patient that's the key to this thing be patient don't force trades and don't try to outsmart the market you know don't you know especially you know, as wonderful as failed second entries are and traps are I really encourage people to forget about them. I, w well, I won't say forget about them. Watch for them, but don't try to trade those so much until you get really good at reading the price action because 
especially when we're going sideways, you'll get whipsawed in every direction. You know, you'll see a failed second entry short, a failed long, a short, a long. And if you're taking them, you're just chopping yourself all to pieces and not getting anywhere. So when you get a little more seasoned and you're, you can read the chart really smoothly and you understand where prices are going and what they're doing most of the time, and you've really gotten good at second entries and failed second entries make more sense. But the, the main thing to remember on failed second entries, because I, and this is not just for the gentleman that emailed me this morning. I get this all the time. The same thing is people think they see a trap and they end up getting trapped. So the main thing to remember with a failed second entry or a trap is it should be fooling a lot of people. And if you're, if you're seeing it easily, like right here, thinking that was a, a fail, you know, that's not going to fool a lot of people on that second entry. It's not a good second entry. It's not a good entry period in either direction until it, until the trap occurs. And the real trap is the failed break lower on the trap. I mean, you're going short right into a double bottom, two bar matching low, an inside bar. And, you know, this was really your failed second entry. It, it was a trigger to the downside when it went here and turned up and it, when it went above, that was when it was a really a failure to the downside. But, uh, you know, this, a break above this bar on really an up down is that's not going to fool a lot of people. So there's not going to be a trap right there. And by thinking you got a trap, you're just fooling yourself and you're getting trapped and then off it goes. So that's just a short trap is all that is not a long trap. But anyway, enough for today, enough for this week. We'll be back again to do it Monday. I'm done for today. Hope you have a great weekend. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.